And now we'll talk about the SI units for pressure. And SI, remember, stands for System Internationale, or just the, the metric units for pressure. And we'll see those show up in this example. We have a 7 kilogram mass, and note the kilograms there, the metric unit for mass. It's resting on the floor, and the area of the mass in contact with the floor is 0.4 square meters. And you see the metric unit there, square meters find the pressure the mass exerts on the floor. Well, we'll make a little sketch here. The shape of the mass doesn't really matter. I'll just draw it as a cylinder here, and it's resting on the floor, but it's the bottom of the cylinder, it's that area that's pressing against the floor. That's, that's the area that's going to be used in our calculation. And we're just given these numbers. We're given the mass is 7 kilograms, and the area here is 0.4 square meters. Now we need to do force over the area. Well the downward force on that area is the weight of the mass. And the weight, remember, is the force due to gravity. And we have a little formula for the weight. It's m times g, where m is the mass and g is the acceleration due to gravity. So we just put in these numbers. The mass is 7 kilograms, and the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. 7 times 9.8 comes out to 68.6, and that's 68.6 kilograms times meters per second squared, and that, you might remember, is a newton, 68.6 newtons. That's the force. That's the downward force acting on that area. So when we calculate the pressure, pressure is force over the area. That's the force that we use. 68.6 newtons divided by an area of 0.4 square meters. And that comes out to 171.5 newtons per square meter. Now this should make sense. This is very similar to pounds per square inch. But instead of pounds, we have newtons and instead of square inches we have square meters. We're working in metric units now. This thing, a newton per square meter, has a name. One newton per square meter is called one pascal, P-A-S-C-A-L. And that's abbreviated P-A, capital P little a, one pascal. That's the metric or SI unit for pressure, one pascal. Now I mentioned in the notes here that one pascal is a very small amount of pressure. One pascal is one newton of force spread out over one square meter. And one newton is a small amount of force, a very tiny force. So this very small force, one newton, is spread out over an entire square meter. So a square meter, picture one meter by one meter. It'd be a little bit bigger than a square yard. So the top of your desk at school, for example, would be significantly less than one square meter. Imagine one newton, one tiny little newton spread out over a whole square meter. That's a tiny pressure. So because one pascal is such a tiny amount of pressure, it's very common to see pressure me measured in larger units, such as kPa and k there stands for kilo, which means a thousand. So you might see pressure measured in kilopascals or thousands of pascals. Or sometimes you see it measured in MPA. And the capital M stands for mega, which means one million. So if you had a pressure, for example, of three megapascals, that would be three million pascals or three million newtons per square meter. And measurements of pressure in kilopascals and megapascals are not uncommon. And they're not overly huge amounts of pressure just because one pascal is so tiny.